Mike Toller, Wonder Lake. Um, I'm going to, right before I speak about what I'm actually up here to speak about, I'd like to say that as a straight, white, uh, cis male, fly the flag. Love is love. Make it happen. But I'm going to talk about Comcast and providing and, and this county going towards more private internet as well. So I'd like to give the board an example so that they can get an idea of what this means if we leave this in the hands of private corporations instead of taking control for ourselves as a community. I have a client right here in McHenry County that needed a build out to an unserved location. Comcast estimated cost for the build out to this location, $51,000 about. They want the client to pay $47,000 of that total cost to build out. That's the type of thing that we're looking for when we, when we rely on these private companies. That's, they said either pay it all up front or over 36 months. The client is covering 92% of Comcast's costs for equipment and build out. For equipment that they will not own. Comcast will own it, but the client has to pay for it. The day before they gave us this cost estimate, they had already sent out letters to all of the neighboring properties saying, hey, Comcast is coming to your area. Sign up with us. And if you do, we'll give you a $650 prepaid card bonus with a two-year contract. Why don't they take some of that money and just do the build out? Neighbors cannot, you know, they can't currently get the Comcast service, but if this one client pays for Comcast's equipment and the build out, then Comcast can sell to these other people but it'll be all on this one client to cover the costs and Comcast reaps the benefits. It's not uncommon to see this type of thing. I see it all the time with unserved locations and it's not only Comcast. And they're not concerned with providing good service, only maximizing their quarterly profit. We don't need any more of this predatory type of maneuvers from them. Community owned has the best interests of the community because we are the community. It has our best interests in mind because we are we know what our best interests are. <clears throat> this decision needs to be in the hands of the people and our elected officials, not in an unelected, not in a closed door meeting, not dictated, but democratic. Thank you for your time.